The clock is ticking, starting in less than 15 minutes. Masks, plexiglass, and social distancing will all be required at businesses in Orange County. And if they don't follow the rules, businesses could face thousands of dollars in fines. Thanks for staying up late with us tonight. I'm Eric Von Aiken. The new executive order goes into effect in just minutes, and it's intended for what the mayor calls bad actors in the community. News 6's Clay Lepard breaks down what businesses should expect. Mayor Jerry Demings said that 90% of the businesses his strike teams visit are in compliance, including many we spoke with here in downtown Winter Garden. Even those in compliance, though, still shared some worries about the steep fines that could be coming. In a pandemic, the lights continue to shine in downtown Winter Garden. However, it's a different spotlight that's concerning some businesses along Plant Street. We built a, a brand new business and we're looking to take it to the next level. We don't want to keep being pushed back and against the wall. It's not going to help us survive. Lonnie McDougal owns New York Bagel and Deli, which opened in February just before the pandemic hit. As if startup costs weren't enough, McDougal had to adjust for safety guidelines. Beginning Sunday, a new Orange County executive order requires all businesses within the county to have plexiglass or barriers in place, set up social distancing markers, and require masks. Unfortunately, we've had a few businesses that have refused to comply, and it is time that we hold them accountable. If a business does not comply, that could mean a $500 fine, followed by an extra $1,000 a day, and repeat offenders could be charged up to $5,000 a day. If you, you want to send somebody in here and say, change this, 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 and this, we'll gladly change it. You want to point it out to us? It doesn't take a fine to help us. Especially go, like, going to public school, the business is one of the safe places I feel safest. Down the street, the executive order doesn't bother Sarah Hoffer, who works at Sweet D's Cupcakery in downtown Winter Garden. We have signs out front constantly telling people, you know, you can't come in without a mask. And people come in, we kindly ask them, do you have a mask with you? And if they don't, we actually have masks we can provide them with. So then anybody that wants a cupcake can come in and get one safely. Up until now, the most we had seen from the mayor's office was publicly naming businesses that violated safety guidelines, putting them in a negative light. Now this new executive order puts a price tag on bad business behavior. In Winter Garden, Clay Lepard, Getting Results News 6.